Hi there. In this video, we are going to see security using schema classes. So it might be quite confusing, right? So you might have already learned so many security topics, right? So security enforced with user mode, right? Access level, S object decision, strip inaccessible, so many things we have learned. And we can apply the security using schema classes also. There is a schema class, you might be aware of that. Very powerful classes, right? It can uh, have the capability of uh, describing the objects, describing the fields, right? All those informations can be captured using this schema class. Okay, so why I need to think about schema class? That's the first question. Okay, there is a concept exists. Why I need to think about the schema classes when I have, you know, as far as object and field level security is concerned, I can use the security enforced and user mode. The security enforced or user mode will throw an exception in the security violation, right? Let's say user doesn't have access for your field and you have included that field in the selection list or the user is running that circle, the code will break, right? When you applied the security there, security enforced or user mode. So if you are going to use the security enforced or user mode, then you should have a proper error handling in your code, right? Otherwise, high chances are there the code may break. So we already saw a solution for this. You can make use of strip inaccessible, right? That is one way we saw in a different video. So similarly, you can use the schema classes also to avoid security enforced and user mode. You're not interested to have a, you know, separate uh, exception handling mechanism. Then you can use the schema classes also, you know, to apply the security. In the schema classes, you have a couple of methods. All these are the Boolean, right? All these methods are Boolean methods. It means that it will return true or it will return false, okay? So the first method is is accessible. This will check whether the user has access on the object or access on the field. Easily you can check that with the help of schema classes is accessible method. And similarly, you have is createable whether the user has permission to create a records in the object is updatable, whether the user has permission to update a field in the object is deletable, whether the user is allowed to delete a record, right? The user is having a delete permission on top of the object. All these things can be checked with the help of these Boolean functions. Let me, you know, go to the next slide and we'll show you the glimpses of this, right? Okay, you are able to see this scope. Let's say from the schema classes, you have a separate, uh, you know, uh, entity called the S object type, which can be used to represent all the entities or all the objects in your uh, org, right? So let's say, for example, to make it simple, I need to check whether the logged in user has access for email field in the contact object. So what is the syntax uh, I'm doing it? If you look at the syntax, let me change my highlighter. Now, if you check here, schema, right? And then a subject type, it is trying to access the subject type. And from the type, you have to mention your object name, contact object. So contact object will be described. In the contact object, you might be having n number of fields, right? So you can go for again, dot fields. This will give you the description of all the fields. In that fields list, I wanted to check the email field. So schema dot, a subject type dot, contact dot, fields dot, and then the field, right, email. Now you can apply the Boolean function. E is updatable, E is creatable, E is accessible, all these functions e is deletable all these functions can be applied right similarly if you check this particular uh, you know uh, this particular last piece of snippet it is checking that the user has delete permission on top of the object so what i can do i can simply use if schema dot a subject type dot contact dot e is deletable if the user has a delete permission on top of the object this will return true Otherwise, this will return false. So similarly, using these schema classes, you can easily check the user permission in your Apex code. This will not throw any exception, right? It will return true or false. Based on that, you can construct your SQL or you can handle the DMLs or deleting the records that can be handled separately. 
let me quickly jump to my arc so we will test this uh, you know scenario let's say for example let's take a scenario and let's say system admin doesn't have access right system admin don't have access for total salary field in department object right department object so now what we are going to do here is we are going to run a piece of uh, you know code let's say for example i'm going to write a circle and i'm going to result in the department list let's see give it a name called dept list and what's the circle select name comma total salary it is a custom field total salary underscore underscore c from which object from department object right from department object and then i'm trying to print this a uh, list so simply i'm going to do system dot debug this list right what is the list a deb list okay perfect so system admin doesn't have access we don't have access for total salary field but the query is trying to access the total salary field also let's try to run this from the anonymous window okay this is an execute anonymous so i'm trying to run this piece of code execute always apex will run in the system context mode so it won't respect any security so if i check for debug only i'm able to see the name total salary right uh, so the system admin is running this piece of code now the system admin is able to access the total salary even though he doesn't have access even though he doesn't have access for this field still this circle is able to bring the total salary field to the user right this should be avoided because there is a security violation so this security violation can be easily addressed with the help of with user underscore mode you can simply apply with user underscore mode now let me try to execute this piece of code so let me try to execute and i'm getting the exception right total salary is not accessible so this is throwing an exception that's what we discussed instead of uh, you know throwing the exception you wanted to handle it in a different way then schema classes is one way right apart from strip inaccessible right so how to apply this uh, schema classes for example what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to copy this and paste it here list department list is equal to just i'm going to initialize this that's it new department list and i'm going to give it as sorry new department what is the object name new uh, department right so new list of department right let me give the list here new list department underscore underscore c right okay fine new list department underscore score c dept list is equal to new list okay fine perfect so we have initialized the list now i'm trying to use uh you know i'm trying to use the schema classes i'm going to apply if okay so there is a duplicate error let me command this as of now if i'm going to use the schema classes right you see how gma schema classes and then the yes, subject type i wanted to access the object so i wanted to give uh, i want to access the object so i have to go for a subject type a subject type dot and then i have to mention my object name what is my object name my object name is department so department underscore score c right in this object we are going to access a field so we need to go for fields collection from that fields list we are going to check total salary total salary underscore score c whether the user has access for this field that's what i'm trying to check so i can make use of the accessible boolean method right is accessible a c c e s s i b l e is accessible so if the user logged in user has access for this field then probably i need to return a different set of field all right so department underscore underscore c that is fine total salary underscore underscore c and that is also looks fine there is some issue in the code let me check one by one schema dot a subject type okay a subject type dot department underscore underscore c spelling mistake is there no and then fields total salary underscore underscore c total salary total salary okay there is also no issue 
total salary and then e is accessible e c a c c e s s i b l e everything is looks fine what's the error variable does not exist schema okay is there any spelling mistake yes c h e m a okay that is also looks fine what's the issue here variable does not exist schema dot s object type dot department underscore underscore c what might be the issue let me think schema class yes c h m a schema dot yes object right as i said as usual i will be missing any of the you know letters here and there in the s object type i have missed on more t here that's the reason okay so schema dot s object type department and then the total salary field is accessible yes if it is accessible then what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to query the name as well as total salary field i'm going to query name as well as total salary field okay suppose if the user doesn't have access then what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to write an else part in the else part what i will be doing i will be copy paste this and will remove total salary field from the selection list total salary field from the selection list now look at the beauty if the user has access then he will see name as well as total salary in the uh, debug log right if the user doesn't have access then he will see only the name field right let me try to execute this the logged in user system admin he doesn't have access for total salary so suppose he should not see total salary in the output well, let me execute this and it's completed let me check now id and then the name right only name and id is available we are not able to see the salary anymore so without using with security enforced and with user mode we were able to achieve the field level security with the help of schema classes so in this in this particular implementation we are checking the field as accessibility or not similarly you can check update accessibility and you can check for the security of uh, you know creatable and you can check for the object level permissions like deletable, creatable, object level, as well as field level. For both, you can use the same schema class methods. In this way, no need to use a separate try-catch block to handle the error. You can make use of the schema classes in those scenarios. If you are interested to learn Salesforce, visit AJ Skill Development website. There you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offer we are offering salesforce administrator and salesforce development courses to know about us and the team you can visit our about us section this is an organization we are doing at salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained out and guided 2000 plus candidates so far and if you also want to know about our placement assistance visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category you can see the list of people who got uh, trained and placed from our site you can also visit their linkedin pages to get to know about our trainee and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you